Hello everyone, this is Kenyatta, and this is the top 10 essentials from my closet. I guess just to start, I mean, I know it sounds very generic and cliche or whatever, but the fashion thing's always kind of been, or the, the caring about clothes has always kind of been a part of my life. I think as I grew up, you know, from being a child to older, the taste has obviously elevated and changed a bit, but a lot of things have kind of remained in the same lane. Uh, I think being from New York, you're kind of exposed to a lot of what, you know, the fashion forefront is, whether it's like high end or menswear, or women's wear, you know, just street culture, like everything like that. But I think like growing up there and like my mom being like very kind of like tapped into that, like kind of helped shape me and what my idea of kind of what like fashion is. And obviously, you know, like I said before, things are kind of like changed and elevated. But I mean, even thinking back to when I was younger, my mom had this like crazy Adidas tracksuit and I thought it was like the sickest thing. And then once I got like a little older and a little bigger, I would just like threw it on and wore my sneakers and I was like, this is sick. And uh, obviously it's a little bit more open now and it wasn't so open before. You kind of had to like go and look for things and figure out like what you wanted to be in but i think also me being a skateboarder kind of like helped shape that because you know i think skateboarders care a lot about what they're wearing they won't just like wear whatever everything kind of has to like fall into the category of like what they're into and that is still a part of like my dna today so what is in my wardrobe represents that but also what i'm into as far as like the essence of fashion goes for me so um I guess just to start out, um, I got this sentimental uh, white vintage New York City exchange student t-shirt. I got this from a local shop, Selectco, shout out Nick. Um, but when I saw this, I just thought it was like really great. The way that the font and everything is kind of laid out on the shirt and it has that taxi cab, it's just what New York is to me and I think the fade on the print is like so clean it just looks really nice I just like how it is and the fit is like perfect it drops perfectly like on my body and the way it looks and the material is really soft but it's still sturdy it doesn't feel like it's gonna like rip in two seconds and I think I try to stay away from that I'm very like clean cut with my style like it's just a representation of like how i am like minimal clean not too much branding but obviously can stick out in any environment but also timeless like a lot of my wardrobe has to do with the fact if i'm partaking in something i want to have it for more than two months hopefully i can have it for a few years but obviously you know things change and you become a part of other things and you see other things whether it's you know fashionable or popular or something from your past or whatever so you know all these things kind of like make up just what it is and the, the essence of you know fashion for me so the next piece that i'm going to is a skate brand called polar skate co and i love what they do as far as like a skate brand I think there was a lot more emphasis on like clothing brands, especially like growing up and being a skateboarder. Like my favorite clothing brand was like Four Star and they had like all the sickest stuff and like were very tapped in, but obviously like that is not here anymore. But Polar being like a newer European brand and them being like more fashion forward, I think allowed them to create pieces that is I guess more fun to indulge in if you are a skateboarder and allows you to like care a little bit more. A lot of people know them for like the big boy pants, but I think like their knitwear and like sweaters and t-shirts and jeans and everything that they make are like very solid, but also like timeless, minimal approach. They obviously take cues from the early 90s kind of like era but they put their own twist on it that makes it relevant today so this crew neck i'm a big crew neck person 
if I'm in the house, if I'm just going somewhere, if I'm working from home, I'll like throw on a crew neck to just like make me feel like comfortable, but also like, like I'm still getting a fit off in the house. And just this color and the structure of it, it's a little bit baggier of a fit, but the way that it looks on me and my body type just is really nice. And that's why I love it so much with the minimal detail on it. And it's kind of like an everyday piece for me, even when it was a little warmer, I'll maybe potentially throw a hoodie or something on. You know, sometimes you just gotta make the sacrifice, but uh, I really love this piece and I feel like it's probably something I'm gonna have for years to come because of the quality and the material and the look. It's just gonna last for however long I make it last for, so. Um, on to the next piece. A Canoe Club original. Uh, this was the second version of the Canoe Club hoodies that they did. Can't remember when it came out. You know, time flies. I feel like I've been a part of this for a while. So, but um, unlike the first one, this one's a little bit heavier of a hoodie, which I like a lot more. I think. I like to feel like secure and warm like it's a blanket and when this one came out I was like oh like I need it and obviously it's gotten a little bit of wear to it and it was a little bit darker but I think even with the wash of how this came out it looks so perfect and it falls at the right point and I like to like fold the bottom of my hoodies up and crew neck so this kind of like helps allow for that. And I've kind of like traveled everywhere in this. Makes me feel like I'm like representing the home team when I go places. So um, I was very grateful to be given this and I'll probably have this forever. You know, it's a solid piece. If you have a chance to get a Canoe Club hoodie, just buy it. You, you won't regret, I promise you. Um, Piece number four, this lady white uh, webbing track jacket. Uh, I love lady white. I think their approach to clothing in a minimal fashion on like timeless style has what is what has like geared me to the brand like overall. And I think there's also like a skater kind of like influence on that and that those things are kind of like as weird as it sounds i'm kind of like oh dude that's so sick to like have a skater like influence in fashion and i think it goes back to like the early days of seeing like you know p-rod and dylan reader and anthony van england like jason dill like all these like dudes that were like super stylish to me they kind of like brought that stuff to the kind of like the forefront but this jacket i'm very much so like a cozy person when it comes to clothing so this was like an easy like eye catcher for me i like the material that it's made out of it's really like soft but sturdy i like the detail on the side like just little accents kind of like reel me in when it comes to brands and kind of like clothing that i am into like i'm not much so for like the the big branding but if there's a little detail like maybe it's a hat and there's a little strap on the back that's a little longer or a little bit of embroidery or something like that like i'm in but like the the piping on the side but also like the little string tassels at the bottom like i love that this is like a part of it because it kind of reminds me of like skating and wearing jeans but with the like shoelace belt kind of and it like kind of hanging it's just an extra added detail this little like one side pocket and i love to zip it up all the way like real track style like cozy boy like protect your neck kind of vibe for me and just like i don't know it's the perfect jacket for me and my partner got it for me and played games with my heart because I thought it sold out and she ended up getting it for my birthday. So, you know, shout out to her. Um, 
on to the next piece. Button ups are crucial to any wardrobe, whether it's more formal or flannel like. This is a APC, almost like shirt jacket because a little it's a little bit heavier material a little bit more sturdy but um i've always kind of been into like striped shirts and i think this kind of take on it and allows me to wear it either more formal or just wear a t-shirt underneath and have this layered on top so i think incorporating something like this into my wardrobe on a day-to-day -day basis if i want to kind of like dress it up or dress it down is important i think you gotta have uh wide variety of things to kind of like play with because if it's just in one lane it's kind of a little bit harder to be like oh you know is this what i want to do or is that what i want to do but i think having something like this that can be kind of done in a few different ways i think is something that why it isn't essential to me because of the amount that i wear it and the reasons why i wear it constantly have it in rotation this is probably by far one of my favorite jackets that I have my closet is just like full of stuff and it was kind of hard to like pick 10 things because of I kind of cycle through a lot of the things that I wear or I have in my closet as much as possible and kind of giving things like a little different you know directions to go in but this is a north face purple label um 65 35 parka it is just a beautiful color for me and i really love parkas i think it's like the perfect kind of jacket without having it be like too big or you know maybe too light that has a layer on the inside to make it a little bit warmer and these pocket details they kind of fold out so they're almost like remind me of like paper bags a little bit you gotta like unravel it and then you gotta put the stuff in but i just love the the look of this jacket and just like how it looks on me it's not like super big so i can kind of wear it with a variety of things but it's also not like too short or too tiny on me and these just little tassels and how the hood fits and i don't know just everything it's kind of hard to explain just because it looks a lot i can't do it justice just talking about it the way it looks kind of makes it speak for itself but it is like hands down the, my favorite jacket that i own and I'll probably have this thing forever. I think that's the, you know, theme of all this is like longevity. Um, the longer I'm gonna have something, the more likely I am to like love it and like take care of it and, you know, wear it on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I'm very light on my clothes. I'm not like doing the most. So a lot of my stuff is like in good shape, just in case the time comes that I'm like, oh, I wanna sell this, it's not you know, kind of like beat up or anything, but these are the pants that I probably wear at least once a week. I don't leave the house all the time because there isn't a whole lot to do and I like to just like stay inside. Got situated real nice, but these are uh, Anatomica cargo pants and they are made out of ripstop with these like cotton, accents of pockets on them you can kind of see like going around and i have a little bit of a bigger build uh on the lower part of me you know i got i got some thighs on me but for me it's knowing like what things work for me and having something that fits my legs a little bit better so i'm not like suffocated in them but i have some room to breathe and kind of can wear with a variety of things like if i want to wear a sneaker or if i want to wear a boot or something like looks really nice and sits on it perfectly and these to me as far as like a cargo pant is like perfect they're not too long so they don't like drape on the ground they have a nice little cut to them so they sit on top of like a boot or something really well but they also are made out of like a nice material with durability. So I'm able to like move around. And I think that 
there's a level of importance in that for me and you know it's not for everybody but obviously having that incorporated into my closet is you know a big deal and works really well and i just i think a majority of my closet is either white black brown or green and having this green pant to like kind of like wear every day is just essential so that is item number whatever i don't know what number we're on um these i just got from canoe club not too long ago they are the nigel k born uh libro ripstop pleated chino it's kind of a long name but i love this pant so much i'd probably wear it the most out of everything I wear it with loafers, I wear it with more of like a classic traditional sneaker, I wear it with boots. They're a little bit uh, roomier, but I love the like pleat and the detail on them, like these like traditional kind of like military style buttons on the top to kind of almost like attach overalls or like anything like that, but that's not really something that I do, but I just love that it has those accents because I think Nigel Caborn, you know, takes on that timeless style that a lot of us are familiar with and puts his own twist on it. And I think if a designer is into that, and obviously there is a million different styles of everything, but it's always going to be someone else's vision. And I think, you know, wearing these pieces is always going to look different on everybody. So I think his take on this with like a little bit baggier, longer inseam, but this nice breathable light material to kind of like move around in i love this pant i feel like it's probably like my perfect pant um i don't wear a lot of jeans and i know a lot of people kind of like have a good rotation of jeans in their wardrobe but they just don't fit me that great so it's kind of a lot harder to find jeans so sticking to something like this just works a lot better for me and i'm the importance is, is like getting use of something like this, getting a lot of use in a pant like this and not just kind of like, oh, you know, I don't know if I feel comfortable in it or not, but um, this is just a way to go. Um, so this is a Norse Projects wool cap. I think I've had this thing for like, 10 years i love hats like this because it's kind of takes back to like the i guess like the early 90s when the structure of caps was like a little bit different and it just fits me really nicely um i bought it was in love with it traded my friend for something he took it sold it and then I found it at the store that he sold it to like two weeks later. And I was just like, I'm never getting rid of this hat. And I've had it ever since. And even when I sold it to him, I was just like, ah, I don't know if that was a good idea. But obviously he is like my brother. So, you know, sometimes you give things away that you normally wouldn't. And it just has, it's very minimal and simple wool all over and then has this mp on the back which is like what i was talking about those little minor details suede brim and it's just a beautiful hat um this is piece 10 but we did 11 because 11 is my lucky number and that's just what you get uh i just bought these not too long ago been wanting a pair of virgils forever um they're a little bit more expensive but i think because of the times and I think me getting rid of things in my wardrobe, it was kind of like the perfect opportunity to like just go and buy this. Uh, hard copying Vizwims, kind of a crazy concept, but you know, if you do it every once in a while, it's fine. Um, it's, these boots are just so beautiful to me and they look really good with my wardrobe and style i think the important thing for like everything that i have is how does it work with what i already have and not more so thinking about like oh this will work with a theme or this will kind of work with you know this specific kind of direction that i'm going i like to like have things over time and if i see a piece 
what will that do for what I already have and not necessarily having to be like, oh, I got to go buy something else to work with it. So, but this works with everything that I have in my closet and just like a traditional black boot. And I've been looking for a good boot for a while and I finally just like pulled the plug on these and it was well worth it. The construction of just Bism shoes and Bism stuff in general, you can tell there's a lot of detail and time and effort put into it. So I think buying these was just like a way to kind of get myself into a little bit more of buying into that idea and not just shopping for the sake of shopping. So this is probably like my favorite booth that I have. And obviously I don't have a lot of boots, but you know, I finally pulled the plug and bought into it. So that is item number 10 and item number 11 makes me feel like I'm low key, potentially an old man, but maybe I am. But you know, if I establish this now, I won't have to worry about what I'm doing in 20 or 30 years. I can stay on the same wave and that's kind of the idea of everything. But it's these maroon uh, Paraboot Michaels. I wear these things like all the time. Um, they're just like such a beautiful, like elegant shoe. The craftsmanship I'm in mean, is like incredible, just the way they look. I wear them with shorts, I wear them with chinos, I wear them with cords, I wear them with like everything in my closet. And just the maroon is just like such a traditional color. There's another pair of shoes that I have that are kind of like in the same color. It's a Timberland like 3 eye lug, but I feel like I get geared towards this a little bit more just because of like how they look. I feel good in these, so you know i think buying into a lot of the stuff that i have purchased i want to feel good in and these were just you know why not indulge in something that looks a little bit more classy but can be casual and you just feel good in it we're walking all day i don't think you need to sacrifice comfort for fashion because it doesn't always make a lot of sense like you want to be comfortable you want to feel good in what you're wearing so I think like indulging in these and everything else that I kind of picked was that same theme. So um, yeah, I gave you 11 pieces. It was one more, it was a bonus uh, little item. Also honorable mention, Lady White, white tees. Obviously I wear white tees every day, it's essential, but why would I put it in here again? I do it all the time. Um, but yeah, I just, there has been a lot of, uh, you know, indulging for me to kind of find what it is that I love and what I'm into. And I think you should do that with everything, whether it's clothes or music or whatever. You know, it's all obviously important to some extent. So treat it as if you're buying an art piece that you want to have in your house for a while and indulge in it as much as you can. And you know, get your fits off if you need to, like, let people know, dress up to go to the grocery store or whatever, like, it's all important, so, you know, that, that's what you get. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>